So Claude Code is the hottest AI tool right now. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install it. We're going to walk through the setup and the requirements for getting started with it. Now I'm on the $200 per month version of the max plan and I have never run out of tokens. I can use Claude Code all day. I can use the new Opus 4 model all I want. And it's basically a junior developer or sometimes what feels like a senior developer in my pocket. But the good news is you just need the pro plan to access Claude code directly in your terminal. So make sure that you have the pro plan and you've created an account with Claude. First things first, let's install Claude desktop. This isn't Claude code, but this is nice to have on your computer if you're going to be using Claude code. I'm going to leave the link to this in the description below. You can just hit the version that you're on. I'm just going to go with Mac OS. Once it downloads, go through the installation process and then go ahead and open up Claude desktop. Now, when you first download it, it might look something like this. Just hit get started. Then I'm just going to continue with Google, but you can log in with your email if you have your email signed up for Claude. I'm going to skip the quick entry. And then just like that, I have Claude on my desktop. So now I can just chat with it right here. I can switch to Opus 4 if I want to. And this is the most powerful coding model. Once you have this installed though, we're going to install Claude code. Now, before you install Claude Code, you're going to need Node.js on your device. So go ahead and follow these instructions right here, or you can just set up the Mac OS installer. So you can just download that. You're going to click continue through the installer and agree to the license. Then you're going to hit install. And then it says, make sure that user local bin is in your path. Next, you're going to open up your terminal. And I'm going to have all of the commands that you need in the description below. First, I'm going to type in Node-V. Then we're going to do NPM-V. This is what you're going to use to install and run Claude code. Then you're going to enter the install command for Claude code. If it works, then you're good to go. But if it doesn't work and you're getting a bunch of errors when you're trying to install Claude code, it's probably because you haven't sourced NPM and node. So to do that, you're going to use this command, make directory dot node global. Then you're going to use this command right here to configure NPM to use this directory. Just hit enter on these commands. Then you use this command right here to persist this change. Then finally, you're going to use this source command right here to update the sources of the paths that you're using for all of your different things that you have installed. So if you had errors before, this command should work now. So then you can just hit enter and it should install Claude code for you. Now to create a project with Claude code, you're just going to change your directory, which is basically just going through the different files on your device. And I'm just going to CD to documents. And what that stands for is change directory. And then we're changing to documents. Then I'll CD again because I have another folder within documents called projects. So I'll CD to projects. And then from there, I'm going to type in MKDIR space, and I'm going to name a new folder where I'm going to be working on a project. I'm just going to call it to do, and then I'm going to hit enter. Now I'll hit CD and type in to do and hit enter again. And now I'm in my to do folder and I can start working with Claude. To get Claude started, you're just going to type in Claude and then hit enter. And that is going to start Claude code. Now you can type out your prompt right here, or you can install a transcription tool like the one that I have here. And what that's going to do is it's basically just going to read whatever I'm saying and it's going to transcribe it. And then if I end that, it's going to paste it right into my prompt bar right there. So that's a lot quicker if you just want to speak your prompts out. So I could just start up the transcription. Hey Claude, I want you to build me a to-do list app with five variations for styling that I can cycle through and look at for the to-do app. Just build it in vanilla, HTML, and CSS. So as you can see, that's a lot quicker. I can just hit enter. And then Claude Code is going to begin coding that app and creating the files on my device. As you can see here, Claude Code works with to-do lists. So it basically creates a plan for building the app and then it goes ahead and builds it step by step. When Claude Code needs to do something, it's going to ask you to confirm. So if I just hit enter on yes, it's going to continue. All right, so Claude Code has completed my app and it gave me five themes to choose from. Hey Claude, can you run and open my app? And now it's going to open up that file for me. All right, and then as you can see there, it opened up the file for me. So if I want to, I can just set up Claude Code on the sidebar right here so that I can just keep typing my prompts and I can see my app updating live right here. So let's see how it works. If I just click through these different styles, as you can see, it's going to switch my styles and I can really get an idea of which one I want to go for for my app. I really like this simple one. It looks a lot like Notion. And if I type in test and then hit add task, it's going to add that test task right there. And it's fully functional. I can create and delete tasks. 
And if I want to make a change to this app, I can just message Claude over here. Hey Claude, can you go ahead and add a due date field on the to-do list? And then I can send that off. And once Claude is done, I can just refresh my browser over here. And then as you can see, it made that change. It did throw this out of the field. So I could just tell Claude to fix that. Fix the area where the add task button is. The add task button is falling out of the container for the my to-do list section. Make sure that it's responsive. So now it's fixed the responsiveness error and I can refresh again. And as you can see, it moved the add task button down to the next line here. And this seems to be working. As you can see, it says do right here and I can still switch through the styles and see the different styles. If you liked what you saw in this video, you should join our community using the link below. People in the community are starting their own YouTube channels. They're landing their first clients. Some people in the community are starting at zero like Enoch here. He started just three weeks ago and now he's really off to the races with AI. He's automating all kinds of things in his business. And then we have people like Jonathan here who had no luck finding work in tech for over nine months, but then he joined the community, he followed the courses, he got involved, and then he landed a job at Apple. All of this happened because they followed the courses in the classroom, they learned about AI, they mastered AI agents, and they even learned how to vibe code apps like I showed you today with Claude Code. They also tuned into the calls on our calendar. Every week we have an AI mastermind where you can come and you can chat with people about AI. Some people in here are building massive companies, others are just getting started. Then we have the AI support call on Thursdays. You can come with your beginner questions or your more technical questions and we're going to get them solved. We have a team of five coaches here, including myself and my brother Drake. We all have varying experience in AI, so we'll definitely get your problems handled on these Thursday calls. And then we'd like to meet every new member that joins, so you can come on Friday and introduce yourself. We have people all over the world joining our community. If you zoom in on a specific area, you can see other people that are nearby that have joined the community. Like if we go in on San Francisco here, as you can see, there might be people near you that are already in the community. So if you want to join AI Foundations, the link will be below. And if you want to see me build an app using Claude Code that I was able to sell for $16,500, check out this video right here.